All right, let's make dinner. I'm gonna do a quick dinner tonight. I'm um, gonna do a garlic shrimp sauce situation. Uh, it's not gonna be like gamba sarajillo. Um, I don't know, don't ask me why. But we're gonna do that and it's gonna be pretty straightforward, simple ingredients. Uh, I'm gonna make it quick and then make it with some uh, crusty bread. So I'm gonna do that. So I have some shrimp here that's been thawing out. This is just frozen extra jumbo shrimp. Uh, I have about like 10 or so in here. Uh, so, and I'm gonna drain it and then pat it dry and we're gonna get it started. Oh, and uh, these have the shell on. I like the peeling aspect of it. it makes it interactive. All right, we got some garlic. I'm uh, gonna slice up a ton of it. Take off the endies. This is the part I hate. Four. Six. Seven. I guess it's enough. I think it's fine. Let's do that.
roll out a lemon. Soften it up a bit. All right, so simple ingredients. We've got some olive oil, white wine, parsley, chili flake, garlic. Uh, we're gonna salt the shrimp. And we'll get things going. Gonna heat this up. While that's heating up, I'm gonna clean up a bit and then start cutting some bread. Belgian waffle. So this is just Italian bread from Whole Foods. One big loaf. do like half. And add some butter to this too. generous amount of olive oil. Turn this down a little bit, over medium. Bit of butter. I don't think I want the butter to brown. Add in the garlic now. Mm. Add some chili flake. Nice and fragrant. So I'm going to add the shrimp to this, then add some white wine and then add some lemon at the end with parsley. Let's cut a few slices. shrimp in.
get this going for about a minute on this side and flip. Trying to get a bunch of the garlic on top as possible. I've tried a few times to make um, Hawaiian style garlic shrimp. I might post that one day. Like garlic shrimp truck shrimp. Let's get some white wine in. So I like buying these small white wine bottles just for cooking because I, mean, I never use like a whole thing, so getting these tiny ones, I could use like one, two, or three um, dishes out of it, and then I'm not wasting like a whole bottle or it's not sitting in the fridge. This one's great. I'm gonna squeeze some lemon on it now. Now I'm going to start cooking some bread. Nice and fragrant. Put a bunch of parsley in. Smells amazing. I'm gonna let that sit for a second. While I get some of this bread going. some quick smoky bread. Let's turn the fan on before I set off the fire alarms. That got very smoky, very fast. Right, let's put 
this over here. Place the bread. Some of the garlic on top. Get the bread like this. Second roll. No one saw that. It's fine. All right. Maybe a little bit more parsley on top. A little more chili flake. Just for looks. That was good. All right, let's take a pick. Let's bite. Maybe like this. Hmm. Cool. Try this. So let's grab this one. All right, so I'm gonna suck on the seasoning, pause off of the shell. Peel. You can eat the shell too. Right now, I'm not going to. Dippy dip. Mm. So good. Try some bread. Gotta get like a bunch of cloves on this. There we go. Mm. Lovely. I've also made this before with adding like some chicken broth to it and having that reduced too. Comes out pretty good. Okay. Goodbye.